a little dark in here. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Midnight Gatherings with DLH Productions. <laughs> uh, welcome to a Tuesday, everybody. It's been kind of a tough Tuesday. Had a uh, had a pipe break on my car, and uh, so I spent most of all of the morning at a convenience store trying to change out uh, uh, hot water piece on my car. I finally got it done, and uh, it is what it is. So it's Tuesday, and um, even though it ha it's been kind of a rough day, uh, kind of a weird day, different day, all days are different, but here's the only thing that is a for sure constant is change, and we really got to, we really got to, uh, hello lady. We, uh. We just got to prepare for change, and um, hopefully we can influence this change to go in the direction that we want to go and not in a direction that we don't want to go, and that's the best thing that you can do is ride the ebb and flows and kind of influence it towards um, the direction you want to go, and I don't, I, I don't know. Um, here's a little precursor to what's about to happen outside of your little bubble. Um, so they're about to m m mandate masks again. And they're about to tell people who have the vac who have been completely, fully, um, that they have to wear a mask too. So whether you did or you didn't, you still got to wear a mask. And they're going to push it just to probably piss people off and try to get their goat, kind of, to some degree, because it's it's really, it's being done for the greatest wealth transfer in all of human history, again. And when 2008, when everything went down, that was the greatest transfer of wealth since. But this is the greatest transfer of wealth in, in human history. And it would take me a minute to break things down, but they're trying to make it to where we're going to need some kind of passport vaccination thing, you know, to go anywhere. I mean, if you want to go to Rome or Italy, something like that. Not necessarily if you want to go to Wyoming, but maybe. So change is definitely coming. If you think they built up this whole super grid system so that way they could not use it, then you're an idiot. So what we need to do is we, you know, we need to get prepared for what's going to happen. Embrace ourselves for the not so great times, maybe. And if they never come, then lucky, lucky us, lucky us. But if they do, it's best to be prepared and have a plan than not have a plan and. Something hit the fan. You know what I mean? So preparing or planning for change, as I named tonight's show, is that's exactly what's happening. Is change is happening in my life for sure. I'm getting older. Trees are getting taller. <laughs> but the earth is rotating. Uh, change is coming. So the best thing that we can do is not try to fight it, and just but try to push it in a direction that we want it to go by adding positivity, by making things, and, and by desiring things in our mind and using, first and foremost, mentalism. Second of all, pictureism. Third of all, attitudeism. Once we get those three down, 
we're on our way. Got some other little hints and tips and tricks along the way, but pretty much those three are the ruling factors of what we believe, get, and see in this world. So, change is coming. Be prepared for it. Best way to be prepared for it is to know what the heck is going on. And one of the things that's going on is uh, it's going to be kind of hard mentally if these people keep bothering the hell out of us to manifest and be able to concentrate on what's going on in our lives, what we want to make happen go on. That was a terrible sentence. What we want to make happen go on. That's still not right, somehow. And I'm pretty good at English. You know what I mean? Lit, not lit, yeah, English lit. Whatever. Tis twas thy hour. The hour has come. I don't know. Um, but because change is coming. If you get a little bit of information, and you know that the people who you know, are at the top might not necessarily be some of the best people with the best plans in the world. You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. So, we got to not be part of that change, you know? Uh, it's It's a terrible thing to think about, but it's definitely true that the powers that be are not the powers we see. And that's what we got to worry about. If it was Joe Biden, might not be might not be that bad. He's kind of senile, so he'd be he'd be easy to outrun, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry that wasn't right. But it was true. Uh, you know, and the problem that's going to come is when we're not prepared for what's about to happen, things get worse and we lose out. You know, even during this latest thing, a lot of people have made a lot of money. And that's really what these things are all about in, 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 in a certain sense. And the people who want to take advantage of a situation sense, you know what I mean? Like, that's what they see. Cha-ching. An opportunity to make money. An opportunity to force people into a digital currency. We've been using cash a lot less. And that's because everybody's been stuck at home in quarantine and just gotten used to the old digital swipe and go. But that's really giving them more power because once they make it all a cashless system, they just shut us off at any moment. You know, so that's why cash is, cash is a good thing. And using it every Friday is, is a, is a good thing. Cash Fridays. Making sure people know that that's what we're about. Need them dollar bills, yo. And we do this because we want to participate in making sure that we have control of our lives. And if we don't, and if 7% of the people who have money, you know, who, who actually have money, not people who are just, you know, just getting by or what, but uh, people who have money, if just 7% of those people use cash on Fridays, it'd be a revolution. Just 7%. That's not a whole lot of people who actually have money. I don't mean like a whole bunch of money. All you got to do, you know, is just, just use cash that day. Take out $20 from the ATM, $40, $100, whatever, you know. But the reason why we do these is because, do these things is because we want to participate in something good. And we got to quit sitting here playing uh, Lemming, walking off the cliff, being like, okay, well, I just saw the next one go, but I'll go anyway. They say it's okay. My parachute open. No, no, no. That's why being prepared for change means you can't be taken advantage of necessarily. Uh, you know, it's still it's it's, it's not like it's going to change the difficulty necessarily, but it's definitely going to it will lessen the pain 
and the burden. And that's really what it's about. Being prepared, for the most part, eases your burden. And that's why we do it. People who have food during times when there's not a lot of food, they, they, they don't starve. Their family does good. That's what, the, that's what the point is all about, about being prepared for change. Change is definitely coming. If you think you're gonna, if you think you're gonna sit in that recliner forever, then, I mean, unless you're hoping to burn out in the next year or so, uh, you know, I mean, you're gonna have to do something. And for so long, I thought things was, things would never change. I thought they would always stay pretty much the same, you know. And every time I had to move, it was heartbreaking because I thought I was gonna live there forever. Even though I knew I kind of didn't want to ever, I didn't want to live there for, you know, it's this weird paradigm that we build up in our minds. Some of us. But change is coming. And I can see the writings on the wall. I do say writings. Because there's more than one change are coming. There's one more, there's more than one nefarious actor afoot you know what i mean so we just got to pay attention to some of these things and we could just got to be part of the good change like cash fridays we got to see the things on the wall and know that and, and don't get an attitude we can't start losing our uh, you know le losing our stuff like all in all the videos we saw over the last year about people who are going crazy about wearing a mask or something It'll be, it'll be what it is, and we'll move on. But being prepared for it now, knowing that we, we you know, that an end will come, that we're not just going to let these people, you know, but that that is going that, that they're trying to they're trying to do something on a bigger scale, and. When you have a lot of money and you ain't got a whole lot to do, I guess the only thing you can, I guess the next best thing to do is to try to come up with ways to wreak havoc in the world, it seems. Now, I don't know, you know, I don't necessarily, they won't let me go. They, they've never invited me to Bilderberg, so I, I don't know. If they did, would I go? Uh, probably. If I went, would I tell you people what they said? Hell yeah. Even if it even if it meant that some dude was going to murk me right out my window? Yeah, I'd just get some people to look out my window for me. I'd still tell you. That's why they won't invite me. See, that's I mean, I know. I know. Uh, I see you. I see you. No one. What are you doing? So, just be prepared for it. Because uh, today is today, and it's going to be put in the in the in the history books at midnight. And these days go by so quick as we get older and older. We can't lose sight of the moments that we need to spend in these days stopping and smelling the roses and doing what we can to enjoy what, the silence and the peace that we've eked out for ourselves. For a while now, most of us in this town, anyway, who have been through Hurricane Michael have eked back a living and eked back from uh, a terrible, terrible morning. So... It's easy to get complacent when you get back to some place where you finally get to rest for a moment and things seem normal. And not every tree is down. But that's also the most dangerous time when it seems you can be hit and, and, and dropped by the slightest thing. And that's because we're so, we're so caught off guard. So let's not pretend like we don't know change is coming and that we're we're prepared for it. And that we're better today for tomorrow. And we made it this far. We can prepare for tomorrow. 
is just a few hours away. And if we have that mentality, knowing that tomorrow is another chance, that we could turn it all around and, and it might be our day. It might be the start of a new life. It might be the beginning of a new relationship. Tomorrow holds so much promise. And for a lot of us, the promise of tomorrow has turned into the the uh, reminders of today. For some of us, when we wake up, we, we wake up in that silence and in that question mark of life. And those times, they really, they really suck because you just want an answer. It doesn't have to be a perfect answer. It doesn't have to be an exact answer, but at least an answer. And it's so hard to find. There is a point halfway through adulthood and into maturity where nothing makes sense and everything runs afoul. You can't find the right way to go sometimes. It's hit many of us and we've 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 made stupid, stupid decisions and 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 went a went a long ways down a wrong road. It's the change that's coming. I promise you that the change is coming and that it can be better. It can also be worse. I'm not going to lie. I don't want it to make it out like there's only one way it can go. I'm not going to be that kind of person. But doing nothing lets it go this way. And doing something is the only way you're going to have what you want. There's no other way. Unless you have a goal. Unless you're an arrow shot at a target. You're just a stick laying on the ground. Let's consider this just for a second. And I know maybe everybody's not that good at visualizing. But if you could, imagine for a second that scene in Robin Hood where he shoots that arrow at the target that already has an arrow there. And it's going and it splits that other guy's arrow. That's a powerful moment. The whole travel there, we all already know. Think about that arrow that's laying on the ground, being trampled underfoot, that nobody cares, hardly anybody sees. It's just a just a stick laying on the ground. The dynamics of those two is absolutely insane. And the choice is us. That The propulsion of that arrow is us. It isn't, it isn't anything else. And the lack is also us, sadly, to where we Don't go nowhere. The difference between those two and the and the the outcomes, the life, the existence even. It's all defined by you. And I am the arrow. And for many years, I pointed myself in no direction. I sat an arrow. 
waiting to be thrusted towards a target. And I never understood that, that my life had no meaning thing. Because I felt like I, I, I didn't. I was learning music and I was growing and going to work and paying bills. And but without that arrow being shot towards that target, I didn't go anywhere. And the moment I picked up that bow and said, "I'm sick of being here," and I shot it over there, it wasn't far, mind you. I was never really brave enough to just 90 degree that thing and let it go. <laughs> I think about it just this moment and it scares the, it scares the hell out of me. But when I decided and I, and I pointed that thing towards something, Ooh, it was, a, it was a scary moment. It was a scary moment. And it's made the difference in how my life has turned out, not only in the outcome, but also the income. And I don't mean money. I mean, the outside changed, but the inside changed too. And the beauty and the harmony that now flows outward from me is only a dim version of the explosion of beautiful that's happening on the inside of me. And to where I feel totally comfortable and okay with me. And I understand me and I understand my mistakes. I understand my good points and my bad points. And, and I remind myself of both every day. I've learned to grow some really great muscles that's added to my character. I've done this over time. And I, I've done this most of my life. But I've also done it over the last few years. Because I've had the courage to actually be something different than what all my friends or what the streets told me I had to be or what my neighbors told me I had to be. I didn't really care. I put a, I put a, I built a bar in my house in, in one of the bedrooms because everybody moved out and had a dance floor. I was in there just dancing on Saturday night. What? You ain't never seen nobody doing the running man better than me. <laughs> and uh, that room had been so many things you know it had been a bar it had been a game room it had been an office it had been a laboratory <laughs> uh, because I was able to live life because I didn't have to worry about what anybody said or I had my own expectations and I and I thrusted my arrow knowing that change was going to come slowly. I say that with a heavy breath because um I'm not a patient person. I mean anybody who really knows me knows I mean I I I am the most impatient I'm impatient with my own thoughts. Why didn't why didn't you get here earlier? <laughs> I I really am. But always, every time because of that impatience, everything got messed up. I never followed the true rules. Let me give you an example. Uh sanding and recoding something with a new stain. What you really have to do is you have to sand that stuff down to wood. To the to the wood. You can't just sand the that top layer down. You have to sand it down to just I mean all all to all four corners. I mean you, you I had a bad habit of just wanting to take that top layer off, you know what I mean? Getting the same kind and just kind of hitting it and touching it and know everything turned out orange. I was like, but this is fine. I just want to touch it. Except last time. <laughs> and so I could, because I was so impatient and I just wanted, and it wasn't because I really wanted the money necessarily. While I do need a paycheck, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I mean, uh, I like money. 
I, li- I, I like money. Let me just go ahead and make that clear now. It wasn't because I, I you know, I was trying to rip people. Off. It's because I really was enthusiastic about working and I really wanted to get it done. I want to see your your floor can be beautiful again. I can, your little table can be beautiful again. I can, eh, I just, I just, you know, so amped up. It wasn't necessarily for nefarious reasons is what I'm trying to get at. But nevertheless, that impatient made me pay. It never worked. And now that I do stuff in a patient way and I'm calm and I'm and I'm like, look, you got days. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You're getting paid. You got it. All your bills are paid. To... See, one of the things we worry about is we're like, well, how am I going to pay my bills? And how am I going to do this? And now, no, 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 now I don't have to necessarily worry about that. So and 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 I didn't have to worry about it before if I would have done some other things right. But I don't want to talk about that right now. That's a different show. Talking about being prepared for change. A change that we know is going to happen. When I started getting into all this stuff, one of the things the guy told me is like, look, don't be all pissed off that this stuff don't show up tomorrow because it's not going to be here. When at the end of the 21 days, don't get all butthurt that stuff didn't show up exactly like you ain't riding around in a new Ford F-150. Now you're all pissed off saying that stuff don't work and now you want to cancel your show. Now you just don't want to do nothing. No, 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 no. I can tell you from personal experience, I got something twisted. I got traffic twisted just for one. I mean, just like third day in, I nailed it. Third, fourth day in, nailed it. I mean, two flunks right in a row. I don't know what that'll do for your 21 day experience, but it, it tore mine up. <laughs> I mean, it tore mine up. It was bad. So I'm not saying that stuff don't work. I just, you know, I, I, that was my first jump off on, you know, on a video log of me doing it. You know what I'm saying? So as I watched the log, I was like, ooh, that, that's not like, and so I'm getting better and better. And, and, and the day that I can hone in on that 21 day experience to where I don't mess up and then I'm good to go. And then I, and I have some, all the positive songs I made absolutely created some positivity because some dude, no, it's not some dude. I don't want to say it like that. That sounds kind of corny, but one of my customers is, is, you know, he was going to, I've already finished his house, his, his, his house sold, his house sold for above and beyond. So this is the, this is the thing that I was talking about er, er, in earlier shows that I'm hoping this person goes above and beyond and they already are. And in fact, they wanted to come and hand it to me and put it in my hands directly and say, here, I just wanted to thank you. But some stuff got tied up on Monday. So they had to, they had some other plans that kind of interfered with that. So he said, hey, look, I'm just going to drop it in the mail. Thank you though. Just wanted to let you know. I was like, I appreciate everything. I don't know what this thing is. It, it, it could it could be a bill. <laughs> it's not a bill, but I kind of know what it is. So that's above and beyond. That's something that I did not have to work for necessarily. Do you know what I mean? Like I didn't have to put in hours for it, but it, and, and, and it's because the universe is trying to pay me back saying, look, you kind of flunked that 21 day experience thing, you know, uh, but you, 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 you're not a guy, you're not, you're not a bad guy, you know, uh, you're on the right path. You still got some things to fix, you know, watch it in traffic. And, uh, here's a little something on the side, go get you a little something, something. you know, don't have to worry about it. You know, didn't, didn't have to sweat for it, work for it. Nothing. It's cause you had a good attitude and boom, getting paid. Now, I don't know how you would, and not only am I getting more for, you know, doing that and not, but now just get more for nothing. I mean, that's how the universe loves you. When you love the universe and and you're true to yourself and you clocking in here, something's watching. Don't think something ain't watching. And you get paid for the good experiences and for, and, and for keeping on track up here. That's, that's your clock in and clock out ticket right there. I mean, you don't clock in nowhere else but right here for the universe. So you want to clock that ticket in and get you some hours with the universe. You could get hours all day long, 24 hours a day. I mean, you can't really do 24 because then you'd have to be on some kind of serious like dope, you know, and, and then people don't get nothing done. I mean, nothing. I think there's one that lives on the road when I, when I leave, they got a whole bunch of stuff outside the house. All of it is broken. (laughs) 
like all of it like like, <laughs> like the big wheels missing one wheel like the car is missing two wheels and it and like like and like the barbecue grill don't got no top on it you know so i don't know if they're having like a half of a yard sale and shit but i'm sorry i'm sorry and stuff but i think they have some stuff <laughs> and i don't know if they know it or not but all of all of the people who have any kind of training or understanding of anything and of any kind understand like mm, 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 child. Mm, mm, mm. look at that place right and the people outside boy they just they just getting it they... <laughs> that's terrible i'm sorry i'm sorry no, I'm not. I didn't do any of this stuff. I mean, what the hell do I got to be sorry for? It's funny. I ought to tape it. That's what I ought to do. Yeah, I'm telling you, if I if I could run a stream over there, I would. And then we'd just sit there and talk about people, point at people like, look at this guy right here. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you got options. You could get better. I really would. I really would. I'd stream the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Police to come over to my house and be like, could you just stop, man? You're making the whole damn town look bad. <laughs> you ain't right. You ain't whatever. But, but, I'm serious, though. I'm serious. All this stuff is broken. Because you can't get, you can't get nothing done for 24 hours. But the universe will let you put work in anytime you want to. Anytime. And it, and, 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 but the pay is delayed. You know what I'm saying? It's like that uh, hold a week and get paid every two weeks to where you don't actually get a paid check for like six months. <laughs> and that's what it feels like. Uh, but, you know, so it it is a delayed payment. And, and, and if you screw up, <laughs> if you screw up and start thinking like, well, maybe they're going to pay me with a boat. <laughs> You you might be living on a boat, so you got to be real careful, you know, when you deal with the universe, because it is <laughs> suddenly you living on a houseboat, and she's like, "I ain't never listening to that show again." <laughs> but change is coming, and the universe wants to help out with this change. And the universe has some laws and some rules that you have to follow. Now, you can absolutely not follow these rules and you could get what you get. Or you could follow these rules and influence what you get and the universe will pay you. If you want Advil, it'll give you Advil. If you want Motrin, it'll give you Motrin. If you want Equate tablets that don't do anything, it'll let you go to Walmart and, and pick up some stuff that you don't want. It's totally your option. And all we got to do is just put in some positive thinking and keep it on a Keep it on a positive chain. One of the things that I mentioned last night, or maybe the night before, no, it was probably last night, is that since I got my dental cleaning, I've lost my teeth every day since then. And it feels like 2,000 days. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. It's only been like, like, like 20, 30, you know, like maybe a month, maybe a month and 10 days. But... It's been the best month of my life because I've been able to keep that chain going. And because I got that chain going and several other chains, unbroken chains every day, I've been able to really use that as my hours into the universe is really what I'm saying. It's like that's, you know, that's how I'm putting in my hours and it's really changing. And, and somebody's really trying to make me read some books. So I think the universe is trying to say, Hey, you need to you need to chill out with some stuff and read this book real quick. Now I don't know which book it is yet. I don't know, but it'll put it in my hands and then and then I'll read it and then I'll be a better person. You know, we don't read enough in this country. Uh, uh, the average American only reads one book a year, and that would be I I, did, I don't know if I read a book last year. I know I listened to an audio book, maybe, but I've been really copping out on things like that. And even though my life has gotten better. And I'm getting paid more to do less and be more and, do, you know, I don't want to mess up. The, I don't want to mess up this part of it. You know, all of what I've gotten right now might be because of all the stuff that I put in over the last three years. If that's the case and now I start to fizzle out and die out, my shit will rubber band right back to where I was before. And that's the last thing I want. I won't. I can't tolerate that. I apologize for cursing. 
I can't. I'm not doing that. There ain't, there ain't nothing under the sun that, that that'll make me go backwards. Not not right now. No, no, I'm strong enough. You, no, I'm like an ox right now. You ain't you ain't making me go backwards. I'll stop where I. I'll, I'll halt for a second. But I'm coming. I'm coming through that wall, buddy. You you're gonna let me in. I'm I'm not doing all this push for nothing. And because I've done all this push, I absolutely believe I'm going to get paid for it. And because I absolutely believe the universe is going to pay me back, if the universe has been paying me back like that, like stacks on top of stacks, you know what I mean? Now, right now, I might be, uh... <laughs> Les... Les Brown says, claim what you want, not what you don't want. Don't tell people you ain't got no cash. Tell them you're having a cash flow issue. <laughs> and it's just because a few things have broken down all at once. And, you know... Stuff ha that happens. And see, the universe is just trying me. That's why I'm trying to keep a positive spirit. I'm not going to let it whoop me. Now, if my heart, if my house starts collapsing, I might, I might come on here and start crying. You know, like, so please help me, please. I'm sorry. Like, stop it. <laughs> but that ain't happening. I'm just saying, you know, there's a few little hiccups, like today. My, uh, some metal pipe broke split right up under on the under belly of it oh yeah not on the top side where you can see and be guaranteed like oh that's the one is it this much is it this no 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 so i got some other i got some some piece that is supposed to be a replacement piece because they don't sell that piece at at, uh, at a certain irish automotive dealership if you know what i'm saying um <laughs> Cause they ain't Scottish. Cause yeah, I think I'm Scottish, and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't Scottish. But so it's a little piece, but it it bends, it can bend like that, cause it's got like a got a spring or something in it. Well, that worked perfectly because it already had an elbow, and I just needed something that was in the shape of an L. Boom! I cut it off right at the right end. But they gave me little plastic pieces to put into the thing. Well, one of the things that is the problem is that this is like 900 degree water. I don't think these little plastic pieces are going to do much of anything. To, I mean, they're going to melt. So I put the thing in there. I clamp it down. When I clamped it down and filled up the water, the water was leaking out worse than when I had that original, <laughs> when I had that original pipe. Mind you, I'm in the parking lot of a very, very busy, ghetto parking lot you know what i mean like this is you know it's 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 not ghetto parking lot but it's it's in the hood you know what i'm saying it's right or it's right or it's it's hood adjacent you know what i mean and there's some there's some great people that go there probably everybody in town stops there so if you stop there you're gonna be seen by everybody it's like going to the fair it's like hey what's up charles and then two minutes later somebody else gets guy hey what's going on man yeah i'm just trying to make it to my car man just trying to hey told us all you today hey man yeah we're gonna do that it's it's not a good place to stop if you want to try to get somewhere in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so, you know, I'm trying to get all this done in the parking lot, and when I clamped it down, it leaked worse than when the metal pipe was in there. So I gave it back to the person and told them to take that back. I don't need that, and uh, and I cut the, I I sawed the old pipe. I saw the ends off of it. And stuck that in there. <laughs> Just use that. <sighs> and another people at the parking lot was like, "Yeah, because he, I had broken out a hacksaw and all kinds of stuff. I'm sitting here about to break out a welder and start tack welding this thing back together. You know what I'm saying? And all this stuff I'm pulling from my van. You know what I'm saying? As I'm getting all this stuff and this saws all and I'm just sparks flying and you know just everybody saying hey to me as they drive by so it's like wow this guy's really popular and knows how to do everything and geez and it's like in a metal grinder in there and then i'm sanding the edges off of it you know what i'm saying i'm like literally metal fabricating a pizza in the dodges parking lot uh no i i could have just i could have lost my nerve i could have lost my you know as I had to get several pieces and several bingo in, you know, but I didn't, I was glad that I could fix it and that it wasn't something major. I got in my thing. I, I handled the rest of my day. Did what I do. 
And the, I know the universe is trying to, you know, it, it's not trying to knock me off. Look, the universe doesn't want to, you know, screw you out of your inheritance here. That's not it. It's just trying to test you to see if you're really ready for some stuff. Now, if you're ready for some deep stuff, it can give you this this full bucket. But if you're just ready for some light stuff, it's just going to keep handing you that light that light bucket. And see, this is the part where you got to get this this part right. If you want the better stuff in life, you're going to have to go deep. You cannot do this with a superficial, shallow bucket. Nothing, if nothing fits in there. The only thing that fits in there is enough provisions for one day. If you want enough provisions for a week, you need the big bucket, the deep bucket. And that's the only way to make it. In life, if you want that, 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 that experience, whatever it may be, you need the deep bucket. And to get the deep bucket, to trade it in, is really difficult and take some time and it's like manufacturing a new bucket from scratch because that's what you're doing and this deep bucket what you put in this deep bucket is really going to count on the kind of experience that you get out now let's 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 examine this just for a second i got two different kinds of buckets in my possession right now i got a one gallon bucket that holds one gallon of paint and i got a five gallon bucket that holds five gallons of paint comparatively i'm trying to say that the short bucket is the one and the big bucket is the five now if for an experience you can do a lot of stuff if i was to tell you you can go into target and put anything in that one gallon bucket that you want to go for today and i'll provide you food you could get a lot in the bucket but there is a ton of stuff you ain't getting in that damn bucket there is a ton of stuff you can't do. Now, mind you, you can do some fun stuff with the one gallon version. To get that deep bucket, to get those big provisions, you got to put in the time going in a certain direction, knowing your outcome before you even go in. And that's that shooting the arrow part. Being prepared for change means now you have pulled that thing back and like, now I'm ready, I'm right here. This is change. Don't get it confused that like, now I've made a decision. I'm tired of being lazy. No, nah, I made a decision. I don't want to be fat no more. No, 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 no. That's not it. It's right there as when the change is coming. That's when you have actually decided to put that arrow on that thing and say, I'm going there. It's so important to get as fast as you can there. Mind you, you can change your mind once you get there. And we need several experiences to kind of catapult us down the road. You're not going to, you're definitely not going to shoot this thing off. And, and in one shot, to, in, I mean, nobody I know is an archery expert. Nobody I know. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to leapfrog kind of back and forth and back and forth. Some things, you know, some things you might like more, some things you like less, but it's about the experience. It's about adding the experience and being good at another thing. Good at another thing. And you'll be the best at a few things, but it's good at another thing is what we're chasing. Because it's those experiences that's going to lead us to where we want to be. Now, the things that I'm doing right now, you know, they, they, they are, they are not the same old experiences, even though I've done this, I've stained stuff over and over and over again. I can't tell you how many times I've stained stuff, but I'm doing staircases and stair treads. And I've, I guess I've done that before, but not for me, not like this. This is totally different because this is in a different context, you know? And so as we do these, as we do these things that we've agreed to do for that thing we want, no bitching and complaining about the things that we do. No complaining. I'm not complaining about the stairs, none. It's hot. Let me tell you, it's really hot. And it's been hot the last few days. It's going to be hot for another few more days, at least. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, I'm happy. When I was out there at Dodges, expect, it, 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 minus the few irritants that were along the way, which you're going to have, it wasn't that bad of an experience. 
and my car broke down. Now, normally, I'd be in here livid saying, that's it for that car. I done had it towed away. Never to see it again. You could take all the stuff in it with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Instead, I said, I made it out. I was fortunate. I'm not going to let you get me off my game. I know this is just a trick. I know you're just testing me to see if I'm just going to blow up and be an asshole or be, sorry, you know, or, or, you know, get myself in trouble, say something stupid, do some, have some kind of thought like, oh no, now the van's down. Now it's never going to get fixed. I'm never going to be okay. I'm never going to. I could have done that. And I decided against it. It didn't seem fun today. You know, it wasn't Monday. So it was like, eh, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I didn't really feel like giving the tow guy any money. You know, it was like, nah, man, just go ahead, dude. I got this. I'll just fix it right here. Start jacking it. <laughs> I just said it was ready. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm just going to rotate the tires while I'm here. Most of the people were more pleasant in the parking lot. I was only accosted by, you know, <laughs> a few stragglers. And one guy who decided that he was going to have a full-on fight with another person through the phone. Uh, walking up from the Pizza Hut across the street. <laughs> this guy... He is in a he is in a full on rager with the guy on the phone. Oh, you up, you, da, 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 da. and he's just and I mean and 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 he he put the thing up to his face like like he's like he's trying to get in the dude's face. Maybe they were in a bit. I, this guy did not have video calling. You know this this guy. You know he didn't even have a shirt for God's sakes. I don't think he had video calling. <laughs> Daddy had a Facebook account. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so change is coming. Be prepared. And let's go in the way that we want to go. Now we can do this by following a few, few rules. Mentalism. Picturism. Attitudeism. And if we control those three. And making sure that we're feeding the machine. The machine's going to try to tell you to go watch the news, that this ain't worth it. You're going to see billboards and stuff at Wendy's and stuff like this. It doesn't bother you. you have to take control of the of, of the reins of the horse. Hey, dude, we just, we, we just got to do this. Change is coming. Change is coming. And we got to be prepared for it. We can still have a great life. Don't, don't, don't get worried. We can still do the things that we want to do. It's just going to be a little different. And now is the time that we need to focus on us and about the experiences we can have. Now is the time that we need to fall in love again with being us, with being me. I can laugh and I can joke because my life is really good. In the grand scheme of things, things are pretty, pretty, pretty great at this junction in life. It is for a lot of us, and in a lot of places right now, uh, you can go and, and, and watch videos or go do research yourself and find out how bad some of the weather is in some far off distant places. And... Uh, what some people are really going through and it and it's tough while we've been saturated over the last for month or so in the grand scheme of things we really got it good and we are blessed and highly fortunate and we got to know that we are favored and we got to do something with this favor lest we get it taken away from us the favor that you have too, and people might refer to it as privilege, but it's actually favor. And it's favor because you're willing to do some hard work and you're willing to do the right thing. I just need you to do it and need you to get up and, and fight that monster. I'm going to go back tomorrow because I don't have a choice. I was thinking about this earlier today. I've left myself no other option 
but to get this stuff done. Without this stuff being done, my family doesn't eat. My car payments and house payments don't get made. If I don't do what I need to do tomorrow, it all goes under. So whether or not my van breaks down, I'll be out there fixing it and pushing it along the road if I got to. Waiting for my time to come in. Hoping that the things that I do have made right what once went wrong so I can finally make that leap home. It's a dream and it's a goal. It's a vision. And it's my entire life's desire at this moment. I I seek nothing else in my mind and and with my focus but to answer these problems. Not only for me, but for you and for the rest of the folks who may trip across this in the future. It actually does work. And the moment that it gets here, for me, I'll know. Because I got something free in the world, really. If it, it, it's, it wasn't free necessarily, but... I know what you're thinking. No, I didn't drink any coffee earlier. What are you talking about? <laughs> I got two drinks here? Y'all didn't know? I'm actually at the bar. Hey, I'll take another one. <laughs> uh, so, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Look, we got some we got some business to do and some stuff to get right in our minds. Then we could get on the road and we can go to where we want to be. The options should be opening up, not closing down. I know they are opening up for me. I can do more now. I just still got to get some stuff done. It's probably always going to count on me getting some stuff done. The thing that has pulled me here. Is knowing that I can fix these things. And in fixing these things. Over the last several years, I've actually fixed a lot within myself. I appreciate all my customers because they've given me a chance to heal myself from the inside while fixing their stuff on the outside. It's been a blessing. It's been tough, but it's been a blessing. And I'm thankful and privileged every day that I still get to do what I want to do. I hope. We all find that. It took a little while and some courage to get here. But backed up by good people, I knew this outcome would be exactly what it is today. At one point in time, all I wanted to be was the person that you see standing before you today. I'm actually sitting before you, but you get my point. And while I've made it here from way back there, now that I'm here, I want something totally different. If I go there from here, <laughs> I probably will be writing books for the rest of my life. And that's the new dream. And I'm excited to take that challenge on and to go in this and to do all what needs to be done to cement the foundation being there for me to be able to do that without me putting in this time now. That outcome doesn't become so clear. And that's why we have to start. Because along the way, the outcome becomes more and more clear as you get closer and closer to the finish line. But if you don't ever start the race, you'll never see the finish line. Thank you for stopping by, everybody. I'm going to be here tomorrow with some good news. I got some good news today in the mail, and I'm getting some good news tomorrow. So. Y'all check y'all's mailboxes. Maybe I sent y'all something. Y'all don't know. Wait, I don't think I'll have y'all's address. Your email address isn't the... Whatever, whatever. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow.